you've missed the first two episodes, you should go back and check those out. If you don't care about that kind of thing and you don't mind jumping in into the middle of a story, uh, then by all means stick with us. Let's jump right into it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the Dirt Bike Channel. I've got Kyle and Sam here. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about two strokes versus four strokes. So this is part three, I think. Um, I've taken a lot of heat. We've taken a lot of heat about how much we love two strokes. Some of the some of the two stroke fans out there have been really happy, and a lot of the four stroke fans have gotten uh, kind of their underwear in a ruffle a little bit. So we don't want to pile on too much. In fact, I'm kind of sad that I didn't bring the uh, the 350 uh, for the shot. Didn't bring the uh, the four stroke on this camping trip because uh, I had to make a decision. Didn't have enough didn't have enough room, room in the, the trailer, trailer to bring them both, and so I brought a uh, two stroke with me today. One of the big reasons why we spent so much time in the first two episodes highlighting how amazing two strokes are is because there just hasn't been that much information in the last 10 years about that. In the last 10 or 15 years, everybody has been so high on the hog on four strokes and basically just poo-pooing two strokes. Well, two strokes are still a viable option and we wanted to give at least one you know, alternate viewpoint out there. We've never said four strokes suck and we're gonna make that a little bit more clear in this video so that you guys don't get uh, so worked up about it. Let me just let me just set the record straight one more time. The four strokes are amazing. There's no doubt about it. I mean, we've ridden that 350 now quite a bit, yeah. and uh, it's a, it's KTM 350 uh, XCF and pretty pretty phenomenal package. So you know, a little bit of foot in mouth. Maybe you could, some of you four stroke guys could say that, but we really really have liked that 350. What what were your thoughts about that? Yeah, the 350 to me is, in my opinion, the perfect uh, four stroke. Um, just the power is exceptional. And it's a really light, nimble bike. Um, obviously, the four strokes are, are a lot like that these days, is where they're really nimble, got a ton of power, really good bikes. The traction's incredible. They feel slow, even though they're really fast. I know we've said that before. Um, but that's actually a good thing because that means everything's in control, yeah. everything is smooth. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if I had to make a choice between, you know, a, you know, a, a two-stroke and a four-stroke, I'd probably still lean towards a two-stroke because it's what puts a smile on my face in the, the day. But by all means, um, you know, we do, we've done multiple drag races, and the four-strokes faster than my two-stroke. Um, I think they're phenomenal, and you know, everyone's got to choose what bike they want. But uh, you know, if someone came to me and I wanted advice about a bike, I just kind of start asking questions, and I'd recommend a four-stroke. How's this for intellectual honesty? The four stroke was faster than my two stroke, okay? I know, it pains me a little bit to say it, but I'm just keeping it real. That four stroke 350 revved to the moon and it was faster than my two stroke in a straight line in a drag race. Now, not everything's about straight lines and definitely in uh, dirt biking, not, everything, not everything's a drag race. Straight line speed isn't everything. If it was, we'd all be riding 1,000 cc behemoths. Um, but uh, the 350 was faster than my two stroke in a straight line. We're not, we'll just tell it like it is. Uh, the four stroke, the 350 that we were testing, my bike, um, was faster than every two stroke we raced. That was because it could pull longer in each gear. So here's here's one advantage. I was going to go into the I was going to go into the noise, but here's one advantage of a four stroke uh, over a two stroke is at least these modern four strokes they can rev a lot higher than the two strokes, which means less shifting, which means you're faster. Okay, so that could help you on a single track trail as well as it can help you on a motocross track. So this video is about off road riding, and there's a major advantage. I mean, on that bike, when we're riding that thing, uh, the 350 four-stroke, basically just staying in second gear, you can just put her in second gear and take her home from there because it'll rev high enough that, you know, on a lot of the stuff we ride, you don't even get out of second gear. And then when we get out into the desert a little bit more and we do hit, hit third gear, hit fourth gear, uh, that, that four-stroke really, really shines. You end up going very fast and you're in control. Uh, the noise that these bikes, since we're going to go right off-road in national forests and some of these places, needs to be taken into consideration. I'm not necessarily saying that one bike is better than the other in this regard, but one of the myths is that two strokes are louder than four strokes, and that's just simply not true. If you've ridden uh, two strokes or four strokes or if you've been on a two stroke around guys that are riding four strokes you get around the four stroke guys and you can't even hear your bike 
the four stroke sound is much, much different. It's much lower. The sound carries very, very far. And I think it travels a little bit further, uh, the four stroke sound than a two stroke sound. You could argue which one's more annoying um, to a non dirt biker. We'll just talk about that for a second. Yeah. Uh, but going back to the sound, uh, a lot of people think that two strokes are louder than four strokes. Not true. They're just, they just sound differently. <laughs> Now, everybody has, everybody has a certain thing that they like. Maybe you love the sound of a two-stroke on the pipe. Maybe you love the sound of a four-stroke. I like them both. And some of the time I like the four-stroke better, but one of the myths that we hear is that two-strokes are louder, and so it's not good to have in the mountains. Let me tell you, the, the four-strokes that we've been riding recently, they are loud. They're so loud that when we're riding with, with guys with four-strokes, we can't even hear our bikes. If we get close in, those four strokes will overpower our bikes even in the helmet. Right. And then that four stroke noise travels further. Not bashing on it, it's a fine noise. Everyone likes, you know, whatever they like. Uh, but that four stroke noise tends to travel a little bit further than the two stroke, wouldn't you think? Yeah, and my, my brother has a CRF 450. And I, whenever I go riding with him, I can't hear my bike. <laughs> Uh, and the, the other crazy thing is, is he's not he's not wrapped out either. That's that's actually an advantage of the, the you know the four strokes as well. Is they seem to always be right down either half throttle or below. Where a two stroke you're you're half throttle or above. And so you know it tends to when you're right next to it seem like it's louder, but that putt 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 just seems to carry far farther and it just kind of drowns out. And you know obviously it's not fair because the you know the CRF is a closed course race bike which he does not have a forest service approved exhaust spark on it spark yeah. rester so it's it's loud we've got a lot more to cover but rather than making a 30 minute video we decided to chop it up into more consumable smaller uh, length videos so anyway watch for some other videos to be coming out real soon uh, as we continue in this topic uh, so thanks for tuning in